Hey everybody, this is Kodak here, and I finally get the chance to talk about the Yokai Watch Dream. The Yokai Watch Dream has actually been out for a while, but it's been a little tricky for me to get one. Anyway, the Yokai Watch Dream is the successor to the Yokai Watch U, and uh, both Yokai Watches serve largely the same function. Both of them are capable of using all of the medals that have been released, and both of them are capable of being updated, although in the case of the Yokai Watch Dream, it's actually through a micro SD card rather than a regular SD card as seen with the U. The Dream is also a lot heavier than the U. Not only does it use a hefty AA battery, but it has a ton of extra features that the U really doesn't. Another feature that the Dream can do is that it actually comes off of its mounting, although in this case it's actually done with a push button. The Yokai Watch U, you have to do all sorts of fancy things with the Dream, comes off with a push button, and that's because it actually has a gimmick where it works with a bunch of additional toys, such as a blaster gun, a vacuum, amongst other things. And I have tested them, the uh, parts unfortunately are not cross-compatible with one another. But in the case of the Dream, it is a whole lot easier to swap things around to support the gimmick. Now, rather than a searchlight, the Dream instead broadcasts these sort of eight LED lights that are kind of more like a detector than a flashlight, which is something I'll get into later. Anyway, if the Yokai Watch U is like a concert hall, then the Dream is like a casino or a game show, because what happens is, when you put in one of the Yokai medals into it, it kind of throws it into a game show or a casino situation where a roulette starts. Dream roulette. Okay, so that was the Dream Roulette, which is kind of a generic roulette that these characters can be entered into, and Jeevan Yan won just kind of anything, but there's actually a number of roulettes where the characters actually win something. They can win, like, a fancy piece of tuna sushi all the way up to a Hawaiian vacation. Now, this doesn't really have any impact on the game, but it's still kind of a fun feature to have. Now, like the Yokai Watch U, it repeats the tribe of the Yokai that you're summoning, but at the same time, it also says Nani Kaderu Kana, which is wonder what's gonna come out, which is basically a theme on the roulette here. So it's it's a bit like a game show where they go into the watch, they might win something, they might not win anything, and wind up with something like a piece of sushi made entirely out of wasabi or something like that. Anyway, you heard the Charming Tribe, which is kind of a, a nice, very bouncy kind of drum-heavy beat, but... All of the others have some changes as well. The Tough Tribe, which was kind of the cool sounding tribe back on the first couple of watches, instead has a more heroic theme to it. While the Brave Tribe has kind of a traditional Japanese theme to it. The Heartful Tribe has an Islander Hawaiian theme. The Mysterious Tribe is Swing. The Shady Tribe has kind of a James Bond sound to it. And the Kaima theme sounds like the old Shady Tribe theme. The Eerie Tribe sounds like a disco theme. Of all the music types they could have gone with, they went with disco. I cannot believe that's the second time this month I've had to say that. And legendary is, of course, the epic orchestral score, as always. <laughs> now,
Now, I think I've saved the best for last, because while the Tough Tribe has kind of been the coolest one in previous iterations, in this case, it's the Slippery Tribe with Izanami here. They get kind of like this epic Mariachi Wild West theme. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! So you see what I mean? Izanami just won a freaking Hawaiian vacation! That's amazing right there! Now, the roulette element of the watch actually uh, adds a bit more fun, a bit more randomness to it. You're not getting the same thing every time. Although, if you want, you can actually skip this incredibly long process anytime by pressing the button up here. But by far the coolest innovation behind these has got to be the Dream Medals. Now, the Dream Medals, to correlate with the whole casino game show thing, kind of resemble poker chips a bit more. Although, their most interesting innovation is on the reverse side, where through the clear plastic you can see a little coiled up chip, similar to the one you'll see on like an Amiibo, or a LEGO Dimensions base, or a Disney Infinity figure. What this does is it actually does kind of behave like an amiibo in that it actually has some memory stored in here. Like, the watch in seeker mode can actually recognize the metal if you put it underneath. Now, that shakuretsu part that happened earlier is actually the second thing that the watch can do. The watch can actually imbue a metal with a super element through something called charge roulette. Now, what this does is it actually gives it the shakuretsu or burning property. I don't know if it'll let me do it again since it's already charged, but we'll find out. And I hit the button. Oh, I missed. Now, it's actually really hard to get it to land on this central roulette square. I actually, it's, it's like 1 in 20 for me, but I guess that's to prevent it from being abused because what this uh, burning property does is it gives like a boost in either the uh, Yokai Watch 3 video game or the Yokai Watch arcade game from what I've heard that kind of uses these chips similar to Batrio. Overall, the Dream Medals actually have some interesting potential. They're a little bit like the Yo Motion Medals released in America in that they kind of added another feature at the cost of uh, some of the price tag, but in this case, it's something that actually benefits you in the video game or other situations, unlike the Yo Motion Medal. So I think as far as gimmicks are concerned, this one's gonna be a lot more well received. And that's a look at the Yokai Watch Dream. Now, I didn't get to show you all of the features I could show you because I don't have the games that work with the charged up medals and I don't have like the gun blaster or the other accessories that go with it, but perhaps someday I will be able to and I'll be able to show it off here. And until next time, this is Kodak signing off.